What about that, that No Child Left Behind was supposed to help close the achievement gap? You're talking about that they can't go to a different schools. I read recently there was a new Harvard study that, that No Child Left Behind is benefiting more white kids than it is minority kids. Is that the case? Wendy? I mean, I just want to, I want to, not, not according to anything I've seen, but I guess I just want to ground us in the reality in our country today, which is that by the time you are nine, if you happen to be born in a low-income community, you are three grade levels behind nine-year-olds. That means you're in fourth grade, you're at the first grade level. Half of our kids growing up in urban areas are graduating from high school, and those who do graduate are at the eighth grade level in high-income communities. No child left behind said, you know what, as a country, we've got to change that. And we're going to start measuring our progress. I have to say, I mean, I am not a, you know, highly political person, to say the very least. And, but I have to say that when Dr. Page says that this law changed the conversation in school districts, honestly, that is the plain fact. Mm -hmm. 10 years ago, 15 years ago, when I got into this, we were not talking about student achievement at education conferences. It was not even on the table. We were talking about what kind of curricular strategy we thought was best for kids and stuff like that, but we were not talking in this way. And now we do have, I mean, it's, it's also, there's a double-edged thing about this, and it's very complicated to have, because what you want is local communities that are deeply committed to, in measurable terms, closing the achievement gap and who are doing everything it takes. And sometimes the federal mandate can, you know, you've got a lot of people fighting it at some level and trying to get by and not doing all the right things. And so ideally you'd have every community rising up and saying, we're gonna close the achievement gap. But the reality in America is that for decades and decades and decades, despite our intention of being a land of opportunity, we've let this problem fester. And I think